will be the oh there you are who's the last speaker in the open debate please thank you presiding officer across the length and breadth of scotland every single day there are thousands of selfless people who willingly give up their own time in the service of their communities and for other people Quite simply, volunteers make an incredible contribution to Scottish society and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to thank them in today's debate, as well as to be able to draw attention to a few of the great voluntary groups from my own constituency. I'm delighted that in Rutherglen constituency is the home of thousands of dedicated volunteers working across a range of different sectors and it's because of their tireless work and commitment that our communities are better places to live and work. According to the Scottish Household Survey, in South Lanarkshire, an estimated 25% of the population volunteer in a number of activities, including youth work in the Scouts and Guides, to helping out at the Rutherglen and Cambus Lang Food Bank, and from those giving up their time at Revolve Recycle on Main Street, Rutherglen, to the coaches at Blantyre Soccer Academy at the other end of my constituency. Volunteers are our, com are our community's most important resource, and they're our biggest assets. These are people from my constituency volunteering in my constituency. However, we owe a debt of gratitude to those who volunteer nationally. For example, those who do incredible work manning the telephones at charities like Samaritans and Childline. But, presiding officer, there's a particular group of volunteers who operate throughout the whole of Scotland that I wish to speak about today. And I want to put on record my thanks and appreciation for them, for which is often an unrecognised contribution to local democracy our community councils. Created 45 years ago through the Local Government Scotland Act 1973, our voluntary community councillors have been a mainstay in our local communities ever since. According to the Scottish Government's website, there are over 1,200 community councils currently in existence, and five of them, Rutherglen, Burnside, Cambus Lang, Halfway and Blantyre, proudly serve in my constituency. The Act is a vital link between our communities and local authorities and they play a crucial role in ensuring public bodies are aware of the opinions and needs of the communities they serve and they're arguably the foundation of our democracy. Only last week I attended the Cambus Lang Futures Forum meeting which is organised by Cambus Lang Community Council and it's looking at the regeneration of the town centre. It's an incredibly exciting project and it's one which the new SNP administration at South Lanarkshire Council is supporting through various initiatives too. Another example of the great work done by community councils, which I actually raised three months ago in this chamber, was the campaigning by Blantyre and Halfway community councils against the proposed incinerator in Hamilton. Both community councils undertook a major campaign in opposition to the White Hill incinerator, and over a couple of months, both had knocked on the door of almost every single house from within their council wards. And in doing so, they amassed over 4,000 objections to the proposal. Whether it's working to regenerate town centres or campaign against planning applications or even arranging community clear-ups or hosting gala days, community councillors devote incredible time and effort to our communities. Presiding officer, today's debate has allowed us to celebrate Scotland's volunteers, but it should also act as a call to get more people involved too. While levels of volunteering have remained stable over the last few years and with a growth in young people volunteering, many community councils across Scotland are either shutting down or getting smaller in terms of membership. And I therefore strongly encourage anyone with either an interest in politics or a desire to do more in their community to join their community, local community council. Presiding officer, now is probably the best time to volunteer in community councils too. In addition to the Community Empowerment Act, which is giving people an even greater involvement in local decisions, the Scottish Government has also set councils a target of having at least 1% of their budget subject to participatory budgeting. And although not exclusive to community councils, they are able to benefit through this, as Cambus Land Community Council will attest after being the recipients of over £60,000 last year for their Greening Cambus Land campaign. Community councils now have the opportunity to have a much more direct and substantive say in our local communities, so please get involved. Presiding officer, I would like to thank not only my constituents who volunteer in community councils, but everyone else who devotes their time to other causes across the country. Our society is so much better because of what you do, and I thank you. Thank you.